Here we go again. The Washington Commanders are making another move in free agency, but this time bringing in a cornerback who was a former, you know, highly touted guy coming out of Auburn in corner Noah Igbignogany. Now, according to Ari Mirov, the Commanders have signed former Miami Dolphins first round draft pick. Noah Abinogany per John Keem. He spent last season in Dallas and now stays in the NFC East. Now, obviously, we are going to break down everything you need to know about Noah Abinogany. However, before we jump into that, do me a big favor. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. It is free. It doesn't cost anything. And we have been covering the Washington Commanders throughout the entirety of the offseason. And I will continue to do that if you guys subscribe to the channel but also give me a letter grade down below for the commanders offseason so far they have made so many good moves and this is just the beginning to a massive spiral up for the future of this team now with that being said let's dive right into the video now the number one thing you look at when you break down Noah Abignogany is he is a very solid corner, had great potential coming out of college, hasn't lived up to the hype. However, had spent a little bit of time with Dan Quinn in Dallas for a little bit, didn't really play too many games I don't think, um, but knows what Dan Quinn wants to do defensively and obviously the defensive coordinator as well, they've spent some time together. Noah Abignogany, a former first round pick, has all the potential in the world to become a great player in the NFL was insanely talented at Auburn is only 24 years old and was a first round pick for a reason now he is 5'11 one uh 197 uh but you know maybe not the tallest guy in the world but someone who can come in here and make a difference now another reason I do love this signing here for the commanders is when you look at their depth chart they needed to continue to fill out this DB room now right away you look at you know Benjamin St. Juice and, and Quan Mar and Emmanuel Forbes right you like who they have but they needed some sort of depth I also said that about the safety room and then they bring in Jeremy Chin which was an unbelievable signing as well but now I think Noah Abignogny is a guy that obviously Dan Quinn has a ton of respect for but also has the belief and the confidence that Noah Ibinogini can be a good player. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be, um, you know, a day one starter by any means, but he's a guy that can come in, he can compete with, you know, Tariq Castro Fields, uh, Kai Blue Kelly, uh, or Caillou Blue Kelly. You also have Christian Holmes and D'Angelo Mandel, Nick Whiteside, right? So you have some good depth there in terms of guys you want to continue to build. Uh, and develop but Noah Igbinani is a guy who can you know he knows the system he'll come in here and be a day one role player as well as maybe even a potential starter down the line Okay, now the main reason I did like this signing is just the potential aspect. Now, last season, when you look at the Washington Commanders, guys, they ranked number 30 in interception percentage, number 32 in pass yards per game allowed, right? Um, number 23 in completion percentage allowed, number 31 in yards allowed per pass. This is one of the worst pass defenses in football last season, and at least you bring in a guy that has potential. Like we said, coming out of college... People thought this guy could be a lockdown corner in the NFL. And that is not saying he can't be, right? He still can be a very good corner in this league. Sometimes all you need is a change of scenery. And obviously, Dan Quinn loved what he saw out of him, right? In Dallas, the, the short stint he had there. He was like, okay, this guy actually maybe does show some potential. Let me bring here, he, um, him here to Washington and see if we can revitalize his career. I don't know what this camera angle is, by the way, because that was so bad uh, with that highlight. But with that being said, I like the signing. Let me know what you guys think about it. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you wish they did something else? Um, but in my opinion... Not bad, man. Not bad. You get a guy who at least has a potential beautiful interception there by Noah Ignogany, right? Nice little toe tap. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. And that's the potential he has, man. He can make some plays. He can jump some routes. And we'll see what he can do here in Washington. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next Commander's Update. Should be very soon. Peace.